Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. Representing His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, took part in SDG moment in the presence of Cabinet Affairs Under Secretary His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for assigning him to represent His Majesty in this high-level meeting, which reflects His Majesty the King's keenness to reinforce Bahrain's status as an effective member in the international community through positive and constructive partnership with the United Nations and its various organs. His Highness asserted Bahrain's participation in SDG Moment event highlights His Majesty the King's support to all international efforts to achieve all sustainable development goals to serve humanity in all economic, social and environmental dim dimensions and achieve those for the best interests of the people of Bahrain. He noted that in line with the royal directives and following the keenness of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and First Deputy Premier, the Kingdom of Bahrain took many steps and initiatives to achieve all SDGs through aligning national developmental plans with 2030 SDGs, noting that Bahrain is among the first countries that achieved 2015 Millennium Goals. Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid affirmed or confirmed that Bahrain is moving steadily towards achieving a 2030 SDGs, which also works well with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. He noted that Bahrain is working closely on managing the impact of COVID-19 to ease its health and economic repercussions on the people and institutions, in addition to making use of the current situation to further reinforce development and ensure the sustainability of the economy. The President of the Supreme Council of Health, the SCH, and Chairman of the National Medical Task Force to Combat the Coronavirus COVID-19, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa affirmed that the slogan of We Commit for Bahrain is a true national call for everyone. That national duty and responsibility require everyone to fully commit to all precautionary measures to complete the efforts undertaken by various bodies to prevent the spread of COVID-19. He stressed that uh, the need to adhere to the measures announced by the Executive Committee, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and First Deputy Prime Minister, which called for everybody to commit to community responsibility and protect their nation, family and all members of the society by abiding by the additional precautions for two more weeks until the 1st of October. He highlighted the importance of social distancing to stop the spread of the virus after returning from workplace and keep social within one's family, noting the necessity of wearing face masks outside the house at all times and going out for essentials only. He expressed his appreciation for all medical staff, saying that the true way of voicing appreciation is to abide by precautionary measures and reduce spread of the virus so as to ensure the well-being and safety of citizens and residents and the best interest of the country. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh, called on everyone to commit for Bahrain through fully taking all precautionary measures as national duty to prevent the spread of COVID-19 for the sake of the kingdom and its people. The minister stressed the need to adhere to the measures announced by the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus COVID-19, which called for everybody to commit to community responsibility by abiding to the additional precautions for two more weeks until the 1st of October. She also hailed the unwavering support Support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his constant appreciation for the national efforts of the caterers working on the first line to combat the virus and contribute in preserving health and safety of citizens and residents of Bahrain. The Minister also lauded His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's call on everyone to adhere to the precautionary measures and place the interests of the Kingdom above all considerations as this commitment is essential for continuing the implementation of the plans put in place to deal with the virus at all its stages. She noted that Bahrain, since the start of the pandemic, has taken many steps in order to maintain the health of everyone, contain the virus and mitigate its various repercussions, indicating that all concerned authorities are raising awareness of the society and taking the necessary measures, but adherence to the directives and compliance with them remains the responsibility of the society. 
The minister affirmed that the health sector in the kingdom will continue with determination to combat the pandemic with the implementation of the call of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to intensify efforts to overcome the challenges that Bahrain is going through due to the negligence of some non-compliant groups that were a direct cause of the increase in infections in recent times. She concluded by affirming that the medical nursing and support staff in the front lines deserve appreciation for their sacrifices throughout this pandemic through responsible commitment which constitutes a strong motivation for them to continue giving until these exceptional circumstances are overcome. In line with the royal directives, a meeting was held between acting Sudanese Foreign Minister Omar Qamar al-Din Ismail and a Bahrain delegation comprising of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation Secretary General Mustafa Sayyid, Health Ministry Undersecretary Dr. Walid al Mani, and Bahrain's Charge of Affairs in Khartoum, Abdullah Rabia Sayyid. During the meeting, the Sudanese official expressed Bahrain's leadership's government and people for providing much-needed assistance. He praised the support of His Majesty the King to Sudan in various circumstances and assistance offered by Bahrain during the floods crisis that hit the African country and caused heavy loss of lives and damages. He also lauded the steadily increasing relations between the two countries in various fields, noting that Sudan will always be grateful to Bahrain for the noble act of providing assistance that will contribute to addressing health and economic issues caused by the floods. Al Sayyid stressed Bahrain's support for the Sudanese people during their ordeal caused by the torrents torrent and floods that swept many states. Bahrain's uh, parliamentary delegation took part in the virtual seminar held by the Interparliamentary Union themed Law and Governance in Line with Surrounding and Environment. Shura and Representatives Council's members taking part in the seminar highlighted Bahrain's care for preserving the environment and wildlife in addition to agriculture and preservation of natural resources. They also noted their keenness to set strategies and policies that achieve sustainability in line with the 2030 SDGs, stressing the efforts of the legislative body to issue laws and regulations in dealing with the negative impacts of global warming and environmental issues in line with the international agreements and treaties. Bahrain's ambassador to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, held a virtual meeting with the member of the British House of Commons and Labour Party's Shadow Minister for the Middle East and North Africa, Wayne David, with the participation of Shadow Minister for Peace and Disarmament, Fabian Hamilton. The meeting focused on a number of regional and international issues and topics. The ambassador highlighted the latest developments of the peace process in the region, including the Kingdom of Bahrain's signing of the Abraham Accord principles and the declaration supporting peace with the state of Israel on September 15th. Sheikh Fawaz asserted that this historic step taken by Bahrain will be a new phase of stability in the region in a way that would ensure consolidating peace and security as well as supporting the Palestinian issue which represents the kingdom's firm stance. Following the meeting, the UK Labour Party issued a statement in which it lauded the kingdom's signing of the declaration supporting peace with Israel. In the statement, Shadow Minister for the Middle East and North Africa, Wayne David, said that the agreement between Israel and Bahrain is an important step forward in achieving stability in the Middle East. He also stressed that based on the steps taken by Bahrain, the Labour Party firmly believes that every possible effort should now be made to resume negotiations between the Israelis and the Palestinians, adding that the goal must be negotiated a two-state solution, the only way to secure a meaningful and long-lasting peace. The president of the Asian Football Confederation and FIFA Vice President Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa participated in the 70th General Assembly of the International Football Association FIFA Congress via virtual communication for the first time in the history of the international organization. The event was held yesterday under the chairmanship of the president of the International Federation of Football Association Gianni Infantino with the participation of representatives of the member national federations. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim affirmed that the FIFA General Assembly meeting constitutes hope for reuniting the international football family in these exceptional circumstances, noting the vital contributions of FIFA in dealing with the circumstances of the corona pandemic. Sheikh Salman also indicated that the unity and solidarity of the global football family have played an important role in mitigating the negative effects of the pandemic, stressing the importance of investing the additional financial support approved by FIFA in an ideal way to ensure the full 
benefit of the National Football Federations and their strategic interests. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus active cases reached 6,958 with 613 recoveries, 690 registered new cases. 125 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 544 are contacts of active cases and 21 are travel related. The ministry announced the death of a 56-year-old male citizen from COVID-19 and expresses his heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.